All right, good news. Uh, you guys get to learn how to cook some duck today. I've actually only cooked duck uh, one other time in my life. I meant to buy duck breasts at the grocery store and I accidentally bought uh, duck thighs. So who knows if this is actually gonna work, but we're gonna go for it and, and try it out anyway. What I'm gonna do though is thinly sliced peach. Just layer it over the duck. The sweetness of the duck and the sweetness of the peach just work so well together. I'm gonna do a little uh, honey mustard teriyaki glaze over the top of it with a little bit of lemon in it, uh, over a bed of rice with a bit of a fennel salad over the top of it. So a very intricate one. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna start this off by uh, by cutting the peach. It's really hard. I imagine if you had like one of those uh, mandolins where you could thinly slice it, that'd be a lot easier, but uh, this might be one of those things that is sped up in post because it's gonna take me a while. Miles, the cameraman, and myself were just speaking about. <laughs> Done. We're gonna get this in the oven so that it starts baking. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer it. In the oven, we go at 400 degrees. Now that the duck is in the oven, who knows how that's gonna go? We're gonna start with the sauce. This might be weird. I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I use honey mustard. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. As a base for like most, most of my sauces. Take that, and then I'm gonna do this uh, teriyaki. You got a lemon. I know when you watch like a, a show like MasterChef or something like that, where they're actual good cooks, they always say that like a big part of the dish that you make should be like the difference in the flavor. So you want like the, the sweetness and the acidity and that. I don't know, I couldn't really tell you that. I think for this one, the peach is so sweet. Uh, the duck is such a sweet piece of meat too. It's really like juicy. So the nice like acidic lemon and the teriyaki and then adding a little more of that bitterness from the mustard. I don't like cold sauces on top of hot things. I do this with Everything I make, I just throw it in a saucepan, get it going, just so that it, at least it's warm so that when it goes on the dish, it doesn't cool it down so much. Okay, so now we're gonna do the duck. Just salt on both sides. It helps get the uh, all that water out. Probably need to throw away the salt container because I just touched raw duck and then touched that. Never specified that I had food safety awareness, just kind of making it up as I go. You want to start with a cold pan, put the duck in there fat side down, and you heat it up. It renders down that fat. If you already have the pan hot, it locks in that juice and all that fat. But if you start it skin side down, like so. Forgot to mention the sauce that we put it on super, super low heat, because I'm not trying to get it to boil. I don't want it too thick. I just want it to be hot. That's all I'm looking for. On the heat, very, very low heat, nothing crazy. We're just gonna keep like right at the medium. The only slight problem is, is I was supposed to have a duck breast, which would uh, be a little flatter piece of just straight fat. And as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing quite a bit of fat on the actual thigh itself. So who knows how this is gonna work, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna go two minutes on this side, two minutes on the next side, in the oven at 400 for about six to seven minutes, probably. And we'll see how it goes. And pigeons. Oh, that's what right. here to eat them. Wait, really? Yeah, you're supposed to eat pigeon. Let's go, I had to. Like, I guess that's why they were brought here. But, like, pigeons are so disgusting. Are you sure that's why pigeons were brought here? I don't know. I love this audio in the background. Are you sure that's why pigeons were brought here? Because <laughs> what you have to edit in, just. Like, you're not even in frame. <laughs> okay, so now super important, it's been two minutes each side. When you go to put this in the oven, 
you got to make sure you put it in the oven. No, it's just when you go to put this in the oven, make sure you put it in the oven. <laughs> as long as it's in the oven, you've done it correct. I mean, that's all there is. When you put it in the oven, you got to make sure you put it in the oven, skin side down. So this side, you want it like that, because it'll keep cooking the fat. Now, into the oven, seven to eight minutes. Oh, God. Now the key is to blow up the oven. That's that's really what you want to achieve. As long as you can break as much as possible. The duck is coming out. Yeah, it looks like a duck. That's a duck, isn't it? That's a duck. Never get rid of your duck fat. Duck fat is so good. So now that's gotta rest for a minute. If you watched before, my handy dandy tool to make everything look nice and pretty. The rice goes down first. Okay, duck's been rested. We're ready to cut this thing. Now remember, duck is supposed to be pink. It's almost like a, uh, it's like a piece of uh, steak. Let's see if we can salvage some meat from this. Never really cut thigh before. Okay, let's get one more out of this. Didn't turn out exactly how we wanted it, but there's enough meat to make this work. We're gonna pretend that this was a nice little duck breast, even though it's not. We have the rice in there. We're gonna take this, gonna layer that in there, make her look pretty. Okay, there's our duck over a bed of rice. Now, we're gonna take this. <laughs> oh, it's so depressing. There we go, that's salvageable. There's that. Let's see if we can salvage this. How embarrassing. Ugh. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking really. So there's still some peach on top. We're gonna take our sauce. Alright, now add a little greens, a little pop of color, just a little bit of fennel on top. Somewhat salvaged the look of it too. Here we have it. Duck breast over a bed of rice, sliced peach, fennel, and some sauce. This was uh, definitely the worst one we made, but uh, hopefully it tastes good. I don't know.